Wow, what a tree. It's an incredible tree. Massive. I know. You know, I think I'm going to plant some Skittles and see if they grow into a tree. That's a good idea. Do, 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 do. Planting Skittles, gonna grow a Skittle tree. Get some nice, yummy Skittles for me in my Skittle tree. Growing! Oh my gosh. <laughs> my Skittle tree, look how beautiful that it grew. Oh yes. Yay! <laughs> We gotta begin the harvest. Okay. Well, might as well start now. Let's see here. Nathan? Oh, okay. I guess they're already falling. Oh. 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 What a nice bounty. Coming down, Nathan. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm okay. Well, you know, I wonder what the volume of a Skittle actually is. Let's find out. So, to find the volume of a Skittle, the first thing we did was we measured the length and the width of the Skittle. We found that the length equaled three, four thirds centimeters and the width equaled one half a centimeter. We then plotted these points on the graph and found that the equation x equals 32 thirds y squared is, matches the slope of the Skittle and runs through these points. We then decided to do a cross section of the skittle and only do the top half so that the math would be easier when doing our integration. Therefore, we found that the point two thirds to um, x and one fourth y is the exact midpoint of the skittle. We are rotating this around the axis of x equals th two thirds, and we found that our ry is equal to two thirds minus 32 thirds y squared. So we decided to use the volume equation b equals 2 pi. The 2 represents the half of the skittle that we're using, so we're doubling it to get the full volume. The pi represents the rotation around the axis of the integral bounded by 0 to the 1 fourth of 2 over 3 minus 32 over 3 y squared squared dy. After doing the integration, you find that volume equals 2 pi times the quantity of 4y over 9 minus 128 over 27 y cubed plus 1024 over 45 y to the fifth. After evaluating for the bounds, we found that the volume is equal to 2 pi times the quantity of 15 over 135 minus 10 over 135 plus 3 over 135. Following the arithmetic and then finally the simplification, we find that the theoretical volume of the skittle would be 0 0.371 centimeters cubed. Let's go find the volume of a real skittle. Now for the real world application. We've counted out 10 Skittles of various colors and sizes to be as scientific as possible. And we have here a graduated cylinder of sorts with water with food dye so you can see it. And it's measured to exactly 200 milliliters, which is centimeters cubed. We'll now pour them in. Wait, wait, wait. Safety first. I see, thank you very much. We will now pour them in. And let's take a look at how much it's changed. Due to the water method, after our calculations using some pretty basic math, we found that each Skittle equals 0.6 centimeters cubed. This varies greatly from our answer, not greatly, but to a degree from our answer at 0.23 centimeters cubed. Um, between our theoretical answer and our actual answer in the real world. We conclude that this difference in our answers is due to the inconsistency in the Skittle size. Some Skittles can become deformed, some um, are built bigger than others or smaller than others, and therefore we conclude that the Skittle that we measured for our original measurements was somewhat smaller than the an actual Skittle or the Skittles that we used in our volume test. <laughs> <laughs> okay.